Last year, the Rainville Spartans had a 3-8 record. They got off to a good start, starting 3-1 and one with that uh, season opener against Clinton Massey. And they really proved that they belonged on the field of Clinton Massey coming off a state championship game. Of course, Clinton Massey got off to a rough start last year, 0-4. But then the Falcons rebounded to finish the year at 7-6. 7-6, I mean. And, of course, they won a couple playoff games. And always at Clinton Massey, uh, the goal at the beginning of the year is a state championship. And that's no different this year. One of the things that stood out to me last year from the game was that interior blitz that Waynesville was bringing the whole game. Massey could barely get a playoff because they were blitzing linebackers up the middle. So I'd like to see if Waynesville comes out with that same strategy, try to blow them up early. And I want to see if this new offensive line, which is pretty much retooling for Clint Massey, is able to handle it. season is underway. On the first play of the game, the Falcons went 74 yards to shock the Spartans, letting them know it would be a long night. <laughs> when the Spartans got the ball, there was no room to run. Even when the Spartans thought they had a chance, the open field was quickly shut off by the Falcon defense. As always, the Falcon running game proved to be strong, with the offensive line paving the way. Late in the second, the Spartans held the Falcons and forced them to make a long field goal attempt. Waynesville defense is, is making some good plays. It looks like they are going to try a long field goal, so this will be about a 20, about a 37-yard field goal attempt for Ian McGinnis. That ball's up. It looks long enough, but I believe it's a little... Oh, it's good. It's good. That kick from 38 yards by Ian McGinnis. That's a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice kick right there for a high school guy. When the second half began, the Spartans made a quick touchdown. But after that, the Falcons kept to their promise, dominate the line of scrimmage and impose their will. Breaks a tackle, but he can't, can't evade. Is that Brady Russell? Brady, Brady Russell. Russell on the break up there, kept in front of the receiver. Logan Chester gets his third touchdown of the night, this from 44 yards. Brighton Rodman with that interception, and we've been calling his name a lot, pressuring the quarterback. Football's a game of momentum, and just like that, the momentum's back on the Falcons' side as they have excellent field position here. That's uh, Muter's ball up the middle. They faked me out on that one, Colton. I couldn't find the ball, so it looked like the Hainesville defense couldn't find it either. He takes it in, and he, the ball's on the ground, and Clinton Massey picks it up. The battle was settled and the Falcons reclaimed the paddle with a 38-8 victory over the Spartans. Yeah, we'll take that paddle, put it in our trophy case, and come back here next week and, and try to keep it. That's what we need to do. Keep rowing that paddle. Rowing the boat, baby.